Hello there everybody and welcome to a new series, Medieval 2 Total War. Arguably, no, definitely my most famous, not most famous, most favourite Total War game. Uh, it's a very early one this one is, it came after Rome, which was the third. It went Shogun, Medieval, Rome, then Medieval 2. And this one is easily my favourite, I've got 136 hours on it at the moment, which I know compared to... Some people who use Steam isn't a lot, but for me, that's a lot. I think the only one that comes close to it is Mountain Blade, I think. Don't quote me on that. Right then, um... I have beaten the game, but I since kind of deleted the files, and now I have just the basic starting ones again. So, who am I going to play as? I want to play as England, but it's kind of, you know, the generic start. Uh, there's Venice. That could be interesting. What do they have? Poor cavalry. Look, good militia. Could work. Oh, this music's a bit spooky, isn't it? Uh. Hmm. That could work, but. Uh, no, I don't like the lack of professional armies. Okay. Maybe... Yeah, we'll go England. Them longbow men are fucking awesome. Start the campaign then, I guess. With the Norman Conquest and a crowned king came the dawning of a new era for England. Nobles ordered the construction of mighty castles to fortify the realm. To rule this land is a birthright, but to control it requires the courage and skill few possess. It is a kingdom beset by enemies. The Scots press at its borders, the Vikings to the north, and the French separated by a mere channel of water. All of the country exists in a state of war, as even the common are called upon for duty. In these times of total war, it rests on the shoulders of those who lead to ensure the kingdom does not fall into ruin. Well, that was awesome. I always like the music in that. It sounds like the start of a power metal album or something. Always quite good. Gets me, gets me art racing, for sure. <clears throat> right then. Okay, so this is the overworld. As anyone who's played this will know. I'm just going to change the audio. It's still a bit loud. That should be alright. If it's still too loud, I'll fix it in post. Okay, so... The, you've, first off, you've got cities. Cities are your main money builder. They are what you use to get, say, the ports and stuff like that. Whereas castles are absolutely for your military. That's where you'll get your strongest troops from. But you don't get a lot of tax from them. So, let's see. First off, I'll set this to a high tax rate because the public order level allows me to. Because... They'll be like, yeah, that's fine, because everybody wants to live in London. I mean, who wouldn't? Nottingham, right. So straight away, I'm going to start building. We want a chapel, I think. And I'll get one of each, why not? Always good to have diplomats and a spear militia, just in case some horses come. Right, let's go talk to this Scottish diplomat. 
Hello. Oh, wait, what? He's not going to try and kill him, is he? That isn't what I wanted. I'm getting frame rate loss here. Probably because I'm rendering uh, the third episode of Mountain Blade while I play this. Ah, uh, okay. I thought he was going to uh, kill him then, but apparently not. Now, I guess that that was... Why has a diplomat got a garrison of men with him? He's a diplomat. He's not a bloody warlord. Whatever. So straight... Actually, no, I'm not going to attack straight away because we might very well get a mission to... Just kick my computer. Might very well get a mission to take York. So for now, I'll just set up... Oh, actually, no, I won't bother with the fort. Okay. So for those who've not played Dota War before, I don't think there's a single person who hasn't, but just in case, the way it works is it's kind of a turn-based strategy on the overworld and then a real-time strategy in the battles because you fight the battles, but then you also have to uh, take out... Well, you also have to manage the world in the grand campaign as well. So it's a game with two fronts, as it were. What's Scotland doing? Let's speed this a bit. As you can see, there are a lot of factions in, in this game. It's massive. And I fucking love it. It's easily one of my favourite games. I could play it for hours on end. Hold on. Maintain siege. Oh, it's just a boat. Okay, first thing, I notice that France is heading out towards Rennes, and I don't particularly want that, so I'm going to send you over here to join them. The then I'm going to buy some mercenaries. Oh god, that's getting expensive already. And we're going to head over there. Retinue expands. Awesome. So hopefully we get there before the French do, but if we don't, we'll just kill them. I don't think anybody's going to mind. Oh, yes. Uh, this is something that I didn't discover until my third or fourth playthrough, actually. Uh, merchants, if you go to these little resources on the map, it's a very good way to get more money. So what's my this merchant's actual level? Okay, he's really shit. That's not good. So that's why he only gets uh, six florins for dies, whereas he could easily get... 20 or so if he was better at what he's meant to do. Oh, I feel like I should have just gone to that wine, actually. Damn. Never mind. There's a French princess. Okay, let's uh, attack York. Assault. Awesome. <laughs> I think we might win this. You do that. You do that. Just for the record, the Aztecs aren't in this version of the game I'm playing. That's in Total War Kingdoms, which I do have. That's the expansion pack, and it adds three mini-campaigns. But I'm not playing that. I don't know why. I just don't enjoy it as much. I much prefer the Europe Grand Campaign. Though I might play Britannia at some point. Let's see. Is our general going to give an inspiring speech or not? Come on. Here we go. It's a nice shot of the horse's legs. See, that's something that I enjoy about this game, because um, the other ones don't seem to have the, ins the inspiring speeches at the start, and I'm not sure why. It's like they just kind of skimped out of it. Okay, we'll move the entire army up here. 
bit closer to the actually tell you what uh, we'll move this crossbow unit there with a spear unit or two then we'll move these four over here so I'll get them in place so I can get them from two angles because you don't you can just rush in and destroy everything but it's far better to try and get the kind of strategic advantage over them because otherwise you can find it just sends into a clusterfuck which it will do anyway because the total war AI is never brilliant it's getting nice and close okay then they look terrified with their pitchforks and and their pitchforks and um their spikes <laughs> is that all they've got oh and there's their command I like that they're all there with their pitchforks and stuff then he's just there with a great big suit of armor for the cost of that armor you probably could have outfitted them with a decent sword each right you guys attack this group because they've got the commander and I would quite like for that to die because then the enemy's morale just drops to nothing hello yes I know that okay so what I've done there is I've turned on the fire ammo now that's exactly the same as normal ammo only it's less accurate and it does more damage if it hits because it kind of sets them on fire but what I'd like to do is I'd like to kill their co- what the fuck? Whoa. Shit. Okay, um... I didn't expect that to happen actually, I must admit. Yeah, what god man? No, that's not what I wanted. Okay, I'm gonna have to quickly run in here with these guys because... Otherwise, we're gonna get mutilated. Okay, awesome. They are already seeming to set themselves up to die because they have left this entrance here completely open. Why are you guys running away? No. Stop that. Is it because of skirmish mode? I don't want you to run away. It's an awful situation. Whatever. Whoa, I've lost a men already. Shit. Are you guys still running away? Stop that. Thank fuck for that. Let's see if we can get a nice view of them firing. Actually, it's probably better to do these ones because they're already firing, so. They unlock their weapons. And fire! Fire! There we go. Took the time, didn't they? <laughs> oh, I love it. Spearman, Spearman. Oh dear, this isn't quite going as I planned, actually. See if I can pelt these guys with my crossbows. And we'll get my spearmen to move in. Quite fast, if they could. I think we've won, though. Like, we've got nearly twice as many men as them. And my men are decent. Well, more decent than theirs, at least. Oh, no, they're setting my men on fire. Stop that. Why are they... I didn't know that they had fire arrows as well. I guess all archers have fire arrows. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, shit. Better stop them from doing that, actually. You guys take them. 
battle is very much in our favor. Yes. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. No, 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 no. Stop withdrawing. Stop it. You've turned the backs on them now. They're going to flank you. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we've won. However, that's a bit of a concern. Okay. I mean, they're only Welsh, so it's not that big of a problem. However, I'd like it not to happen. So we'll charge my cavalry in here and try and get them from behind. Oh no! They're both routing? <sighs> Shit. That's really bad, actually. Oh no, I fucked up there. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Are they coming back? I think they might be. Nope, nope, they're just uh, running the wrong direction. However, I might be able to do this once they get close enough. Nope, they weren't close enough. Never mind. Okay, if you guys could go around... Oh, dear. That's not what I wanted. Shit. <laughs> they don't know what direction to run. They're just going anywhere. Oh, I've completely fucked this up. Yeah, I'm about to lose one of my troops. Shit! Man, how did I let this happen? Okay, let's, go. let's speed this up and see how it goes. That's one thing I don't like about this. The... No! Our general lies slain upon the battlefield. By St. George, our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Shit! Shit! I don't believe that. How do we let that happen? How? No! Oh, shit. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I've got two men routing now. Jesus. Oh, fuck it. By St. George, our men have taken control of the city. Nice. Behold how our cowardly foe End the battle. I can't believe that. That's really pissed me off, that has. Oh well. Whatever, there's nothing I can do about it now. I'm not going to save scum. I got the uh, settlement, so. The day is ours. Man, really? This is English, Fuck it, I'll exterminate them just for that. I'll go all Dalek on their ass. Damn. That's really pissed me off. Anyway, anyway I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I think. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll be back next time with another episode of Medieval Two: A Mountain Blade, whichever one I'm filming next. See ya.